Hey guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. So uh, today's video is I have a new addiction. <laughs> um, it is making designer ice, if you will. So uh, let me just show you what I'm talking about. And at the end of this, we'll make another fun cocktail. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. If you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you so very much. If you were not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any video. I have so much fun watching super creative people do super creative things. And I thought I would make my, uh, take uh, their creativity and put my own spin on it. So today I am going to show you some of the ice that I make and then at the end of this we'll make some fun summer cocktail. We are actually having our housewarming party this evening. So um, this is probably one that I am going to, I'm, I'm going to give it a taste test because you and I are doing it together. I know, I live on the edge. All right, so what do you need? The thing is you need ice molds. All right, so I've got lemons and strawberries big ones, so these make big giant ice cubes. I've got hearts, stars, um, cute little um, penguins. I have more, they're in the freezer. So let's take out the ones that I've done and then I'll show you how I go about making them. So yes, you guys, I created a whole ice section. Da, da, da. So my refrigerator does make the big round ice, uh, you know, the big round ice balls or what they call craft ice. I make little balls. Um, we've got uh, some pineapples. Uh, we've got pineapples here in different shapes. There's a strawberry hiding. Um, I'm pulling it all out so that I can show you. This is the one that I made with the Memorial Day cocktail. If you didn't see that, I'll list that for you because it's a great summer 4th of July cocktail. So I'll put those out. We've got strawberries and they have real strawberries in them. And then we've got lemons and limes. So these are obviously, uh, I've got the little limes and then I've got actual lemons. And then these are from the big ones that I get, the big cubes. So these ones have diet cranberry juice and then they have strawberries and a blackberry. So these are with water. This is with cranberries, cranberry juice. Then of course, my roses, this is what I started with, you guys. These are diet cranberry juice roses, and these are orange juice roses, and this is a mix of both. I know, I know, I might be slightly addicted. These are super refreshing. They're cucumber, mint, and uh, lemon. And then these are my coffee ice. So, so we've got little, got little cold brew coffee hearts, and then I've got little, creamer penguins so you know the little creamers so we're gonna do a few of them today cucumber and lemon so they're gonna go in my lemon ones let me move these so these ones are they're super simple they just pop right out oh they're so cute Look how cute you guys. See, I added the little cucumbers in there. So cute. And while we're at it, oh, my fingers are cold. Um, let's go ahead and take these little stars out. And there's the stars. Okay, pineapples. All 
All right, you guys, so for today, I'm not gonna make all of them. I'll show you how I did the Memorial Day one or what I will call the summer one because this would be perfect for 4th of July and all summer long. I'm gonna show you how to make the lemon one. Look how cute this little mold is um, because that is the cocktail, one of two cocktails that I'll be making tonight. I want some iced coffee. I am going to make some more hearts for iced coffee. So what do I need? Well. You need juices. Um, I use, and these are all, by the way, keto friendly. Um, so um, I've got diet cranberry juice, um, low sugar. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture of what the uh, container looks like right here because I put them in these little containers. Um, this is lemonade and pink lemonade, and there's only one carb of sugar for those. Just put everything over here. So I'm trying to be near the window so that you guys can see me. Um, some iced coffee. Uh, this is the one that I use. I don't drink coffee, but for my husband. And then fruit. So I've got some blackberries, strawberries, and blueberries. Um, whatever your heart's desire. Uh, cucumber, I use a seedless English cucumber. And then lemon and a lime. Um, so let's go ahead and start making these. Let's start with the 4th of July ones. They're so easy, y'all. So let me just get these ones out of the way. You need edible glitter. I just got, um, I don't know how many were in there, maybe like 12, and then I add the colors that I don't have and I just put them in a little container. Um, so uh, if, you, if you want edible, you don't have to. Some of these don't have edible glitter, but these ones do. So this is like the red, white, and blue. This, is this one right here. Oh my gosh, it's so vibrant and so pretty. So I'll put a little at the bottom of each one and then I'll top it. These are really big ice cubes. You can see how long they are. If you want shorter ones, just don't pour them all the way to the top. So I just put a little bit of the edible glitter. This is all edible glitter, you guys. And then we'll do blueberries. Sometimes I do blackberries, but I have blueberries. So I'm just gonna take some blueberries and pop a few in the little, there is no, like some might get three, some might get two, some might get, you know, whatever. These, again, these are really big. Strawberry. I'm gonna take a nice look how beautiful these Driscoll strawberries are. And what's great is when these melt, they just add to the beauty of the cocktail. So I make pretty small pieces. This is not rocket science, y'all. gonna go ahead and you can pour anything you want in here I am going to do diet cranberry on half um, I like mixing it up so I'm gonna do diet cranberry and uh, the receipt I like using these because instead of using a giant bottle it's just easier to what do we got five with that and then the other five will do with pink And then definitely we need some more. Well, I like more glitter. I like more edible glitter. And then I just take, this came with a little, like a little brush, but I just wanna, all I wanna do is mix it up. You can use anything, a little fork, whatever. Perfect, that one's done, into the fridge, she shall go. One down. Right. Let's do coffee, you guys. Literally, coffee is like the easiest thing in the whole world to do. So, all you do, cold brew coffee. use our baby penguins because they're um, so freaking cute. Um, I love them. And all you do, again, you want to make sure you get enough with the little penguins, otherwise their little arms will fall off. 
which they're still cute. This one comes with a top that we're going to snap on. And then what I do is there's little holes. I'm gonna pour just a tiny bit more. It's about their little arms. I've learned that if I don't do this, it's not quite enough. We need lemons. Now I've got quite a bit in there already made, but we're gonna make some uh, little lemons. And I think because it is a party, we're gonna have a little fun. And I think that I'm gonna use a green um, I realize the lemons aren't green, but we're just going to do a little bit of green at the very bottom. I mix them up, you guys. Like, I'm not stuck with one thing. And in fact, since I'm doing this, I'm going to make some more limes, too. Because I definitely use the limes. I think they look so cute with the little flecks. And I'm just gonna do water in this. So if somebody's having like a vodka tonic and they want a lime, sure. sure. Okay, so I'm just slicing some lemons, pretty thin, and then cutting them into wedges. That's it. And then one little lemon in each little And that's it. And then because I am using um, a diet lemonade with this, I'm going to make these ones with diet lemonade. And then just, I wish I had yellow, but I don't. I have gold, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of the gold. Fancy. Okay. Lemons done. Let's do the limes while we're here. I'm going to take a little bit of lime. Lime in my coconut. And what's greater, these are super deep. Do I need two more? Cut my finger off. And then I'm gonna take the lime juice and I'm gonna squeeze it in. Just a few, it's just gonna be lime water. There we go. And then I'm gonna take it to the refrigerator and get some water. All right. Lime in the coconut. All right, you guys, as promised, another summer cocktail. All right, so what are the ingredients? Um, Prosecco, yes. There's gonna be, I, I will, I promise I will do other cocktails, but I love Prosecco. It's very light. Um, it plays very nice in the summer. I drink it year-round, but it plays really great with summer cocktails because it is super light and refreshing and bubbly. It's just amazing. <laughs> um, and then for the very first time, I know. I am trying something new. I am trying, okay, I love Deep Eddie's Vodka. Um, I um, did a cocktail. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's been a while, but I did share a cocktail that was with Deep Eddie's Ruby Red Grapefruit. I actually had it here in Connecticut. It was called an Annie Oakley. If you wanna see that, I will make that cocktail for you. Just let me know. Um, but this one is Deep Eddie's um, Lemon uh, vodka. Um, so uh, it says it's made with real uh, lemons handcrafted in small batches. I really do love Deep Eddies and I'm not a big vodka person. I'm not a alcohol person at all, believe it or not. I'm um, just Prosecco. And then um, diet lemonade. Okay, when I say diet lemonade, it is, it has like one carb. I will, again, 
I'm gonna put the bottle here, sorry. I put them in these little containers because I like it. You could use pink lemonade if you wanted it to uh, be pink or you could use a diet cranberry juice. I have all of those uh, right in my fridge at all times. Today, it's mini time. Come on now, aren't these adorable? Right off of Disney, you guys. That's where I got it anyways. Now let's talk about the ice. Um, <laughs> this is what this video was about, right? All right, hold on. All right, you guys, this is where you can just have as much fun as you want. And you know, it's the little things in life. We've all been through so much, right? And it's, so for me, it's the little things in life that just make me happy. Making crazy ice makes me happy. I mean, you know, who cares? Um, so I have a couple, um, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use three because yeah, I'm, 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 that, I'm that crazy. Here's the thing, it is a wine glass and it's a fairly big wine glass. So what I'm gonna start with is these ice cubes right here. So these were made with those big ice molds. So it's like, it's like the old fashioned ice molds except they're really huge. Um, and what I'm gonna do is pull one of those out. Here's the reason why, because in here is a lemon cucumber and mint right from my garden. So um, I'm gonna love when that uh, melts. And what, look how, I mean, just right off the bat, look how pretty that looks. I mean, just right off the bat. Now, I also am going to add one of my cute little lemons because we are using lemons. So why not add a little lemon in there? And we're gonna top it with one more ice cube because we have to have a little bit of edible glitter. You don't, you don't at all. You don't have to have this fun ice, but it's fun. All right, here we go, ready? All right, simple. Now, have I ever made this before? Nope, so you and I are gonna try it for the first time. All right, let's start with the uh, Deep Eddy uh, Lemon Vodka. I am only using half an ounce, so again, we are not gonna worry about the amount of carbs in a half ounce of, of this at all. Then I'm going to go ahead and use uh, some Prosecco. And then we are going to put in, this is, I just know this is gonna be so refreshing. We're gonna put in some of the, I think it's called, I wish I could remember, the lemon, the lemonade. Uh, you, you, you have this gorgeous garnishes just floating in an ice cube, so already it looks wonderful. Darlene likes glitter, you know that, so look at this little tiny glitter um, lime. We're gonna put that right on the very top, and then as that melts, it's going to look scrumptious. Okay, now, we need to give it a little stir. I'm just gonna use a little reusable straw here. I am gonna make this in a pitcher if it goes well. All right, here we go. That is dangerous. <laughs> that is so incredibly refreshing, you guys. Um, it is like a uh, lemonade, keto style, uh, on steroids. <laughs> it, it, it's like a, it's like an adult lemonade. I mean, it's super refreshing. I mean, it's just, it's so so good. And as Oh, look, it's already happened. See, this is what I'm saying. My hands are warm, so of course it's gonna melt the ice. And look, you can already see that, by the way, that little fleck of green right there, that is my mint. And then you can see that the cucumber is starting to melt. Oh, that's what I love. It's almost like a little surprise, right? As the ice cube melts, a little piece of cucumber comes out, a little piece of mint comes out, a little piece of lemon comes out. It's beautiful. I can see that by, if I were to just use the small little lemon ones, these, you'd have to use quite a few. So I'm glad that I made the big ones and I'm about, because I am having a party and I'm gonna make this one, um, I'm going to throw, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Right now, I'm gonna make some more of those. You too. Anyways, that is it. All right, you guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a moment, give it a thumbs up, 
As always, I appreciate you so much and I hope you try this cocktail. If you do, let me know your thoughts. Um, anyways, uh, cheers. I hope you have a wonderful week. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.